Good morning, everyone. How are you? Today is Tuesday, June 18th. Tomorrow we leave Boston. It's our last day, and so I'm going to take the bus back over to the State Street, um, the State House area, and then go back to Faneuil Hall and all those shops up in there and grab some lunch and just kind of wander around. There's a good chance of rain this afternoon, so I'll be taking my umbrella. Um, the reason for my video is because I was watching Tanuki's video last night on the Noriko Haley wig and she was talking about all the different ways that you can style it and, and things that you can do with it and I thought, why don't I do that? You know, here I'm a hairstylist and I just feel really kind of stupid because I don't do that typically. So I was inspired by her video to mess with my uh, Berlin. Now this is my hair right now. Before we left Vegas, I bleached out the front so it would go better with my um, three quarter wigs, half wigs, whatever they are. And I did buy some um, headbands from Liz. What's her channel name? Liz for Kids Wears Wigs, I think. I'll put her channel and Tanuki's channel down below. But this is my Berlin topper that you know I wear all the time, especially during the summer, and this is in Spring Honey. And um, I don't know, my roots stay in. I use the Copic marker, and I've had people tell me that their roots fade or they wash out. So I don't know. I don't have an answer for you. Um, but mine have stayed in. I washed this last night because it was so hot. And humid here yesterday and I walked about seven miles I walked from that drop-off point where the bus drops you off um, and I walked up to the Prudential Center and back and that was about I don't know six and a half seven miles and it was hot so I was really sweaty so I decided to wash my wig after I took my shower so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on and show you guys um, what I did last night. Like I said, I don't know why I don't do this more often. Hello, it's my profession, right? So I I always, I close all the clips except for the front one. And then I do the front and I pull it back and I comb the hair down here on the sides and uh, go ahead and clip that in. Or brush the hair as it may be as such and it was funny when I was shopping yesterday I was in Victoria's Secret I already did the haul video so if you're interested go ahead and watch that um, but I was in there and the young woman one of the young women who oh, was helping me kind of I mean she really didn't help me but um, she commented on my hair and she said how much she loved my hair and had I just had it done and so I told her that it was a you know a hair piece and she was like wow that looks so good she said you're such a cool lady you've got the nose ring and so I thought that was a-okay so here is my hair and this is what I did last night I was just really inspired um, by Tanuki's yesterday thank you Tanuki's and so I just took a couple of these little bobby pins. Oh, I want to show you these. Because um, I got them at Sally. And they're really nice uh, to keep in your purse because they come in just a little tin. And I know you're not supposed to use your teeth when opening bobby pins, at least professionally. But, you know, I do. And I don't use them very often professionally. Now, where did I put them? Hang on, guys. Hang on. Oh, come on now. I thought I brought them over here. They're probably sitting right here in front of me and I just don't see them. Where in the world did I put them? Looking at my little over the shoulder, I mean uh, crossbody bag that I've been using all week. Well anyway, oh here they are. They were in my purse. Die. Sorry guys. Um, but they came in this little tin and it just slides open and then there are the little bobby pins and they're just the little ones so it's nice if you um, 
have longer hair and, and like to uh, pin it back or if you wear um, hair accessories. This is a, just a really nice handy little thing to take with you. So, because you never know when you're going to need a bobby pin. So this is what I did last night. So I just kind of pulled it up and did like a little snooky poof, poof, and I thought it looked really cute and um, a little more contemporary than how I had been wearing it. I don't know, it's kind of flat right there, so probably what I need to do, and I didn't bring any wig hairspray with me because, you know, space. But I've got this little, this is also a, from Sally, it's Ion Finishing Solutions Fine Mist Styling Sprayer. It's like Shaper Plus, supposedly, from Sebastian. And, so I just go ahead and spray my hair a little. And I did leave a root um, I did leave a root here in the front so that it would look better. And what I did was I just sectioned that off and I used uh, two pieces of foil. I just used um, lavender toned bleach that I got at Sally. It's just too far for me to go to Cosmoprof. It's pretty far away from where we live and Sally is just up at Blue Diamond. So I just got the lavender toned bleach, powder bleach, and 20 volume, and I just sectioned this section into two, and I laid the foil down, put my hair over it. Well, I put a little bleach on the foil first to kind of glue it down, and I left about that much space, maybe a half an inch, and then, um, then I did the second section on top of that. <clears throat> and the reason I did that was so that they were narrower sections and I could get a, a a more even um, root line. <clears throat> so I ended up bleaching it twice and then I toned it with the Color Charm, um, Wella Color Charm, the Demi Permanent um, in a level 9 NA, which is a neutral ash. And it turned out really well, I think. But I took a shower last night and slept on my hair, so the front pieces don't look quite as cute as they did yet last night. but. Plus the wig is freshly washed. So anyway, I just wanted to um, thank Tanukis for kind of reminding me about, you know, doing something with my hair. And um, see, this way I won't tuck it back because I don't think it looks as cute. Trying something different with my hair, with my wigs. And um, Liz, I won't have those headbands until we get back uh, home, which will be... June 30th is when we get back and um, I know you said that you weren't sure how long it would take to arrive from Malta so that's no not a problem because I won't be back until the night of either the late evening of June 30th or the early morning of July 1st I don't remember so what I'll do then probably um, at that point then I'll show you the wigs that I got at um, Vegas Girl Wigs and the headbands that I bought from Liz. So uh, I hope you guys are doing well and um, watched Real Housewives of Orange County last night and I just can't wait for Lori to start dishing the dirt about Vicki because you know it's going to come and you know it's going to get ugly. So. Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching and I'll just talk to you soon.